So here we are back with some more Cepheus Protocol and part two of this campaign to rid Treasure Island of the Pangu virus. Patient Zero is still at large and as you can see we are completely surrounded by the infected on all sides. So previously we competed for the central island and ended up losing one helicopter. We won the battle but ended up sparking a war. So now are we not only at war with the infected but also this other unknown faction. We decided that the best option was to secure the bridges so that we could secure a safe zone for our faction. We now have soldiers positioned at every possible entrance to the island. In today's video, we're gonna be enhancing our base and building more defenses, and furthermore looking for the whereabouts of Patient Zero. The developers have been hard at work adding some epic updates. Additional infection on buildings such as spores, new AI pathing, civilians will be gathering at player bases, so new civilian AI, first person and more. With that being said, let's continue to build our base. So first things first, we need to start pumping out some engineers as we need to take them to the bridges and start building some turrets and create our defenses to stop the zombies from getting across. But because the engineers aren't that good in battle, we're gonna pump out some heavies to support them. So now we're gonna board our soldiers into the helicopter and we're gonna take them over to the bridge. I'll come back for the heavies. Here comes our men. We're about to land some engineers to defend this bridge right here. This is going to be some battle if the zombies come across. It is now moving to the second bridge from where we already have a squad of soldiers. Jason Rodriguez, Martinez, Lopez, White, Johnson and Evans all defending this bridge. We're going to drop some more engineers off to help them defend this one as well. So there we go, we've disembarked two engineers right there and now we're going to be taking these over to yet another bridge that's right near our base. So whilst that helicopter is on its way to its destination, we're gonna go ahead and build some turrets right here facing the road into our island. So we're gonna place one there and we're gonna get another get one something for me to fix. right about there, right next to it, there we go. We're gonna do the same on the other bridge the second one that we approached, what can I do for you? but this time we're going to place down a missile turret to go alongside this turret, so we'll see what happens just in case any enemy vehicles start approaching our little island. And last but not least, we're going to place some guns over here as well, just so we have some really good defenses. So I've just noticed that we do have no power going Build to our guns, so I'm going to have to build some power stations to go along with it so we're gonna build one right there right there and right here so now our soldiers are getting to work at defending our base who's this enemy factions patrolling we're gonna have to take over the skies at some point as well so now that we have generators we should now have power in every one of our weapons Check, check, check a Rooney. And now as night falls, it leaves just one more bridge located to the east of our base. We just need to place down some security measures right here. Previously, we did build a wall, so maybe we should go ahead and build some walls if we need to on the other bridges as well. We can see that civilians are trying to get through now, but we have a no civilian toleration a zero toleration on civilians moving into our safe zone just in case they are infected we don't want any infected on our island so it was a little bit dark in this area and i thought because we can see civilians we need to get some lights so i've installed two lights to help light this bridge up just that little bit so our men can see if there are any enemies coming. Another thing that was pointed out to me in the previous video was the fact that we missed this bridge right here as well, which is actually the second closest bridge to our base. So we're gonna go ahead and secure this one as well. So the best thing to do right here is build a wall. Build a wall. 
and that will stop anybody from getting across. I believe we can cut into it if we want to as well and build a gate, but we're not going to do that just yet. So now we have some basic defenses down, we can take a look at the infected zones. We can see that there are spores everywhere on every island, we're still completely surrounded. And I can see, if I zoom in, activity from some of the zombos. And if we look closely, we might be able to find Patient Zero. Look at the size of this spore. Could you imagine how many zombies will be surrounding this area right here? We might have to bring out some scouts very shortly just to come and check on these areas to see how populated they actually are. So here we have it. We're sending in one of our scout drones and we can already see that infected are starting to notice the bridge and I believe some of them will be coming across at some point. Look at that. We can already see our horde is gathering. Look at the size of that. Which bridge will we cross first? Luckily our defences are well intact and you can see that these guys are about to engage Enemy with side. some infected. We get to see the turrets in action. So we're going to get this guy building some sandbags right there and furthermore we'll get some barbed wire in front of the sandbags to try and stop any infected from getting through. The question is which bridge Will the hordes come down first? Maybe the gunfire will attract them. So whilst we know that the entrance is into our base, what the hell is that? This is not good. There is some kind of rock monster patrolling that side of the bridge. Let's get some pictures of that and take it back to base. Gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> what the hell? He's crossing. He's actually crossing. We're gonna get a breach. He's approaching. This could be a breach. We need more, more defenses. He's gonna rock. I want more defenses. There goes one of our engineers. Pull back. Pull back. All back! He's huge! No! Why was our missiles not firing? All back! Retreat! Look at we've been breached! Look at the size of him! At your command. Fall back! Fall back! <laughs> Now that monster has entered our island, we need to keep pumping out some more troops. So we're going to pump out as many heavies as possible, keep them coming, and then we're going to send them into battle to try and take out that monster. We have one guy already out in field, a survivor from a previous battle. He is going to try and locate this monster just so we can pinpoint where it is. Bodies everywhere been killing civilians our infrared cameras are picking them up at this location we need to pump out some troops and quick if we're going to kill him because this bridge is now open for this horde to cross they just need to get smart enough to do it even though all my soldiers are dead literally bent in half our machine guns are still trying their best to take him out meanwhile i am moving my troops up on foot we have no time to board our troops into a helicopter or vehicle. We're going to get them over to the bridge and try and secure our island once again. Success! Our machine guns have managed to do it. His body is battering out. I don't know where it's gone. We have DNA. Oh, we can collect DNA so we know that our machine guns did the job. As our troops arrive, Ready we notice the stench of death as all of our troops have been killed. We can see that we have another Rodriguez, I can't say it, uh, Eden Rodriguez right here. This must be like the sister or brother, I'm not too sure, of the last Rodriguez that was stationed at this position. They have just as found out are. that they've lost their sibling. It is a male, it is a male, is. yes. Eden can be both male and female. So anyway, we have another engineer now we know uh, to strengthen. What? our defences on this bridge. That was epic. 
nevertheless, I think the rest of our soldiers are also moving up to secure the position. We know that when there's a breach, that there is a threat to our island, our kingdom, right here. So with everything that's happened in this episode, we have reinforced this bridge, the only bridge so far where we've had a breach, and uh, it was quite a cool one, actually. So we're going to end this episode here. We're just going to have a quick look at what the statistics are. We currently have 14,647 civilians left on the map, so that's everywhere. 646 are dead, and 15,156 are infected going up as we speak. So we're going to take this to the next episode. If you did like it, please hit that subscribe button. Also like and leave a comment. Be sure to check, check out the Discord, the Cepheus Protocol as well, and join my Discord as well while you're at it, as um, with, there is going to be plenty of updates on both for you to see. Also check out some of my other content if you're new to this channel. And yeah, a big thank you to everyone for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.